Hi there, I'm Teacher Edgar. Today, we're gonna to be working with Intentional Teaching Card M58, which is Missing Lids. So what you're going to need today are a bunch of containers from around your home that have lids that go with them. And they can be any type of container. A range of sizes is really nice. And you, as you can see, I mainly rated the kitchen. You don't need to go out and buy anything for it. The objectives for this program are explores and describes spatial relationships and shapes, and compares and measures. So we're gonna be working on cognitive development, mathematics, and even language development. Let me show you how it works. Now, I'm gonna get these containers here in front of my child, Emmett, and I'm giving him time to explore the materials first. And after he's had a little time with that, we're gonna play a little game. Emmett, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and match lids. Okay, here's what I mean. I'm gonna take all of these containers from you. And now you can close your eyes. Oh, thank you. I know you hear a lot of sounds. All right, you can open them. Oh no, all the lids got mixed up and all the containers got mixed up. We need to put the lids on the containers. Now, what do you think might be a great way to organize these? Uh, find the same shape? Yes, we can absolutely find the same shape. And I was also thinking, you know what, what if we put these in order? We could go big, and then let's go from big to small. Which one do you think would go next? Okay, put that one there. There you go. Which one do you think would go next? Okay, and then next. Wonderful. Now, I want you to try to put those lids where they belong. As he's doing that, I'm gonna congratulate him every time he matches something correctly. Hey, high five. You did it. Oh, and you're gonna take them out when you have the lid on? What a great idea. Different ways to play it. And if you have a child that maybe is not ready to do this vast amount of sorting, what you can do is just get two containers. Start off small and try to get a variance in size. In other words, get one that's really small and then really big. So that way it's really easy to succeed, really easy to visually tell the difference in sizes. And then every time they match it, you give them a high five or a reward of some kind, whether you're using edibles or stickers as reinforcers, it's all fine. Hey, you did it again and again and again. Thank you. You can put them in order too. And even if they attempt, even if it's something as simple as just picking up and trying to put it on the table again, that's an effort. Make sure to acknowledge it, make sure to reward it as, hey, you tried, or oh, you're so close. Positive comments lead to positive results. That's it. Have some fun. Thanks.